on YouTube. Today we got a 2006 Yamaha V Star 650. We'll be changing both tires on, so I'm taking you along. Show you how to take both wheels off and on. Take some very basic tools. You don't need any crazy sized tools on this one. So, not that hard. There's a, with the, everybody has, everybody says that the drive shaft, or they think it's harder, but it's really actually easier. And this one's a little bit more difficult than the rest of the other drive shafts, but, and not really, I guess, but it's not too hard. I'm going to take you along and show you how to get it done. And we're going to start on the uh, back tire first. I'm going to take these four bolts off that bolt the uh, final drive to the frame. And they will all have a, with the bolt and the washer. Next, we're going to take a 19 millimeter take the axle loose. Not in the washer. We're pretty much done with this side, so we're going to go to the other side. Now we're going to take a 12 millimeter, this adjustment bolt. We're going to zip that off real quick. There's a special nut. And down here, there's this bolt and nut. I'm going to take that out. 12 millimeter. There's a nut in the bolt. Now sometimes the bolt gets kind of stuck in that little pocket that it's in. You just give it a couple taps and come out. Now, with the axle loose, you should be able to rotate this drum. Pull the rod out of the brake, the brake lever, and then take out this uh, clevis. And then you got a spring. Sometimes there's a washer behind the spring. With not this time and we're ready to pull this wheel off now we lifted it just to get the wheel off the ground and then you'll see on the swing arm here there's a little notch right here and it's on both sides what you're going to do is pull the wheel back until it see how it fell into it but since we're taking the wheel off, we'll use those. Those are for reinstalling the wheel. Pop the wheel off. Now I'm going to lift the bike up some more. I'm going to pull my axle out. Lift my drum assembly, my brake assembly. Set that off to the side, and then we're going to take our final drive assembly off. This sometimes takes some wiggling. Sometimes if you take a pry bar or a small screwdriver, just lightly, gingerly pry between here as you wiggle, it, it usually comes off pretty easy. This one, not too bad. Now make sure you set this standing up because you don't want oil to leak out of it. There is a spacer on the inside. I'll show you that when we go put together. Out of the way. Pull our wheel out. Let's go do the front. First thing we do on the front, take the reflector here, got kind of twist it out the way. I'm gonna take a 12 millimeter. We're gonna take the caliper bolts off. Support our caliper. Take our hardware out. Twist it, open the pads up a little bit, take that out. Next, we're going to take a six millimeter Allen, loosen up this clamp pinch bolt for the axle. Just got to loosen it up, you don't have to take it out. We're going to take our 19 millimeter, take care of this axle. Alright, support the wheel. Come on. And get a speedometer de uh, pickup deal on the uh, other side, as well as a spacer. There goes the spacer on this side. There goes the speedometer pickup on that side. 
so you can't turn the wheel, slide the wheel off from underneath, and ta-da, come back and put everything back together. Try to put the new one in. First thing you want to do, make sure the tire is going the correct direction. With this bike, it's really easy. You got the rotor on, only one rotor, and also your speedometer uh, pickup is on the other side. So it's real easy to know which way the wheel is going. So there's an arrow on the tire, and there you go. We'll put this in the same way we took it out, kind of go from the bottom, swing it up. Might have to lift the bike up just a little bit, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to lift the bike up, make this a little easier. Alright. How much is there? There you go. Straighten the wheel out. Now as you can see on the front wheel here, there's these two tabs in the hub. And then you got your speedometer pickup. There's these two notches that this needs to go into. You'll know when you're in there. Because it'll be flush. Like that. See how flush it is? And also, right here you'll see like this notch inside this pickup. There's a little tab right here that needs to go inside that. Keeps this from wanting to rotate. So make sure you do that when you put the wheel up. We got the speedometer pickup in. Straighten the wheel out. Get our spacer. Stick it in. Lift up the wheel. Stab our axle in. Give it a nice persuasion. Make sure that that tab goes in that slide or whatever I showed you a second ago. Line all that up. Go. We're going to take our 19 millimeter again. Tighten our action now. There's that. We'll take our 6 millimeter Allen. Tighten this clamp or pinch bolt. Put our caliper back on. Brake pads look pretty new. Slide it on. Drop your hardware first. Always start by hand, if possible. Alright, take our 12 mil. Eight millimeter if you want to tighten that up. We're going to spin our wheel, make sure it spins freely, pump our brakes up until they're nice and stiff. Get it going, let's go to the back. Alright guys, before I put this wheel and everything in, I need to show you a few things that you need to know. So when we get the wheel and everything, the drive up and the brakes in, we're going to first set the wheel axle on these notches. Alright, but while we're lining up the wheel, there's a tab right here. You need to put the shaft on top of that, sh on top of that, and then when we get that axle on the notches, that shaft should just almost be at the uh, the input right there. Okay. So when you go to push the wheel forward, you're gonna grab the shaft and uh, and then put it in that in, in line up the splines. First thing we're going to do though is put it in gear because what that does is it keeps keeps that guy from spinning. So, so I'll kind of give you an idea of what we're doing here because I can't film everything at once. First thing I'm going to do is make sure our rotation is good, it's easy. We're going to draw a uh, brake side and a drive side so we're good. So I'm going to show you this drum side. Real easy. 
not fancy about that. I usually leave the axle in it. We're going to stick that in. You got a spacer and a washer to stick that in. Now, the spacer is going to go inside the frame rail where the washer is going to go on the outside, okay? So the frame rail is going to go on like that. Just FYI. I put a little bit of grease. The, the splines on this was uh, looking kind of dry. So just a little bit of grease. You don't need a splurge. Set this wheel up here. Uh, I was dry well, like I said. There's a spacer in the middle here. Just leave that in there. Like I said, the splines are looking a little dry, so. We're going to engage this. What you can do is kind of, there it goes. Twist the shaft and twin all, twist all the splines up. Stick the axle in. There we go. What I like to do. Uh, Spread the washer and nut to this side. I start a couple threads and you're good. All right, let's lift the bike up a little bit more. Now another thing you could have done is put the wheel in, put all this together. But you know, I'm showing you, so I did it outside the frame. I usually do it with the wheel on the inside, kind of like how I took it apart. So we're gonna hold this up. Now we're gonna put this sh shaft on that tab on that. Okay. So let's get this in there. Oh, there it is. That the shaft, the drive shaft is resting on that tab now. So I'm gonna slowly lower the bike. Now watch on this side you got your brake rod and stuff like that. I don't want to get that all caught up with everything. The All right, I like to stop it to where the, uh, the axle's just lower than the slot. So, slide my washer out, get everything lined up and where it's supposed to go. Roll it forward, lift up the wheel, and put it in that notch. There we go. And on that notch, it's going to hold it for us now. And the next part, I, I, I can feel this. I've done this a while, enough to know. But if you have to, take a flashlight, look down in there, and make sure it's lining up. But I know I can feel it's kind of in that. There's a rubber boot type thing that it goes into, I tell I'm in there, and you're going to pull the wheel forward. And if, and then kind of, what I like to do is spin the wheel. See, I can already feel it engaging. See? Then, tell it to figure out if you're all the way in, is, make sure these bolts line up. If these bolts line up, sometimes you gotta wiggle it a little bit, and you're good. You're golden on this side. All right, just tighten it down. I like to do a cross pattern. A little final tighten. All right, let's go to the other side now. Now that we're on the brake side. And don't tighten up your axle because you're going to be able to spin this around. Ugh. All right. We're going to take our clevis, our special nut, adjustment nut, and our spring. We're going to put our spring over the brake rod. Put our clevis pin in. It has a hole drilled in the middle. And we're going to try to get the rod into that hole. Uh, 
Might have to flex the rod just a little bit. Not too much though. Hopefully. There it goes. There we go. Then now this clevis or clevis, this uh, special bolt or nut has a cutout on it that goes up against the clevis. So we're gonna put just get that started. There's a uh, a rod down there to keep this drum from spinning. You got your special bolt and a nut. Now on the back, this bolt has to come from the back side. There's a pocket that's cut out to fit this head of this bolt. So this doesn't spin and it needs to be flush in there. Okay. I'll put that in. I can feel it's flush. Grab my rod. And there's a hole in the rod. Third time's a charm, I guess. Oh, there it is. There we go. Make sure that rod is all up against the brake, the, the tab on the brake drum. There isn't a gap in there. I'm going to take my 12 mil. I'm going to hold the back of the bolt make sure it doesn't come out of that pocket. Now it's a tiny bolt. It doesn't need a whole lot of torquing. What I'm going to do is tighten up this adjuster until I start to feel it drag and then I'm going to turn it, uh, tur turn it backwards, back it off a couple turns. Oh, there it's grabbing. So I'm just going to back it off until it freely loosens up. Uh, a little half more turn. There we go. All right, not much travel on the brake lever. All right, all we're gonna do is tighten up this axle, and we're good. Take our 19 mil, and we'll tighten the axle down now. Make sure it doesn't spin. The axle starts to spin, grab a wrench on the other side. Should probably a 17 or another 19. Ta-da! There you have it, 2009 Yamaha V-Star 650. Both wheels taken off, both wheels put back on. Took you a long while to do it. Uh, back tire's a little, a little tricky. There's certain steps that you need to go uh, follow in certain order, or you're gonna find yourself in a bit of the trouble. Uh, other than that, now this this is pretty uh, typical for most V stars uh, as far as the back wheel and how to take it off and on. So you can apply this to the other sides V stars as well. So uh, yeah, uh, I took the saddlebags off to make it easier to fill. Uh, I could have done it with with or without the saddlebags on. Uh, if it's your first time, I suggest taking them off to see what you're doing fully. Anyways. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up, comment down below, just be gentle. Make sure you subscribe for more, and make sure you check out those trip videos, alright? See you later, adios.